Well, YouTubes, next item of business is to... Eh, Shelby keeps finding trash, um, which is a good thing. But next item of business here is to try and get this old 76 uh, fired up. Um, when I bought the thing, the guy said that it ran well. The reason it got parked was uh, they had a drunk driver hit it while it was in a at a shop over in uh, over in Fairview. Um, so that was the story there, and uh, he was going to use it for the motor for the green 76 that you guys saw in an earlier video. Um, and this one's also supposed to have a fresh transmission and fresh reman transmission, not even used. Uh, but basically I want to confirm that it actually does run so I know what I got. And then I kind of got to make a decision whether or not I'm going to save it or whether I'm just going to part it out and use it for the green one. Um, kind of a neat pickup, factory AC, and but uh, it's a two-wheel drive, and so I don't have as much love for it as I would if it were four-wheel drive. Uh, let's see. Had to build a new battery terminal for it as the other battery terminal had gone missing in action. Um, so, got that done. And got the battery out of the Ranger, the blue one. And it's all fresh and charged up, ready to rock and roll. Let's see if this thing will crank first, I guess. I don't know if I like that squeaky sound. Um, should probably check the fluids in it. At least make sure it's got uh, got oil and such. That squeaky sound. It's either probably either a bad starter or it could be a bearing noise too. It's awfully stiff for being turned over with a battery that's hot. Um, Ah, uh, that's not boating well at all. But, I guess we'll uh, keep on and try it again here. It's got oil in it. And it doesn't look milky, it just looks black. Uh, got no coolant in it though. And, um, well, I won't even pull that off right now until I can get it to crank over a little more. Um, that's not good at all. I think what I'm going to do here, I'm going to get a socket on the front of the crank and see if the motor is tight. If the motor's tight, then, uh, well, I don't know what we'll do, but we'll do something. Um, and if it's not, then I guess what we will do is, uh, cables are a little warm. I might even have a grounding problem, but I still don't like that squeak that it made when it uh, cranked over that first time. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so... I guess if it's not tight, we'll see if could be just a bad starter, tight starter. It's, supposedly, it's only been sitting for about a year and a half. And huh, uh, anybody that uh, has been through this before will laugh with me when I say I was told that it ran when parked. So, but I guess let's. Uh, Let's see if we can find out. Well, unfortunately, this has taken a turn that I definitely didn't want for it to take. Um, 
but essentially the uh, the motor is stiff. We've either got some rust in one of the cylinders or something. Not sure what. Um, but I do know that if we keep trying to force it, then what is gonna happen is we're gonna bust a ring and essentially render this motor completely useless um, to me. So we're gonna try some things. First thing I'm gonna do is pull the spark plugs out and uh, I'm gonna douse down all the holes with um, douse down all the holes with uh, some PV blaster probably first, some penetrating oil of some kind, uh, and then we'll leave the plugs out and uh, try and get it to roll over. Uh, once we get it free, though, what we will do? Uh, once we got it free, I suppose we put the plugs back in and see if we can get it to fire up, but. I've got a nasty suspicion that by the time we're all said and done with this, this thing's going to smoke like a freight train, um, or it'll be down on compression on on a cylinder or two. Um, so, I guess that's going to take a few days, um, but there is, uh, at the very least, the initial introduction to trying to get this red and white beast to fire up. I would move on over to the 76 but that one has a broken crank so there will be none of that here today um so i don't know maybe we'll move on to the expedition or the skid steer it's um been kind of spitting snow here today so i'm not real excited about putting my hands down in uh down in hydraulic fluid and getting cold and messy like that until it's hot so but until another video, um, keep watching for this thing as we try and bring it back to life. Keyword being try. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys in another video.